Right, Golf Shop Online has a question for me from the Ask Mark section. Thank you for your questions. Um, how to keep concentrating for 18 holes is the question. And it's a really good one because that is tough, isn't it? You know, 18 holes is three, four, five hours out there of continued punishment, stroke enjoyment, stroke you need your energy levels, stroke your concentration levels to sustain. So simple things you can do to try and keep your concentration levels consistent throughout your day out on the golf course. Number one, good pre-shot routine. So you go through similar processes for each shot to make sure that you're not leaving any low hanging fruit out there. So no hit a bad shot and then just hit the next one quicker, those kind of ideas. Each shot has your pre-shot routine, which consists of having one, two, whatever amount of practice swings. One or two is often normally ample. Maybe standing behind the ball and picking a target, picking something in front, picking a target, going through a setup process. So ball position um, being picked from my feet start close together. I tend to be lead hand, then tray or hand gets my body sinking into my setup. I have a routine that allows me to try and apply the same amount of energy for levels and process to each shot. So I'm not letting emotions just get me here and thinking, oh, rubbish shot and hit another rubbish one because I've taken no time. Second thing you can do, and this one's really important, if you speak to really good players, certainly tour players, they'll always mention this, and it's something I don't see amateurs do enough, is trying to keep your energy levels at a nice constant. So maybe thinking about what you're putting into your system and then how that interprets itself as how it comes out. I remember when I used to play as a kid, I used to eat a chocolate bar when I got hungry on like the 12th hole. And then 13th hole, maybe 14th hole, I'm spiking. 15th, 16th hole, I'm thinking, God, I'm starving. I'm running out of energy because I'm getting that sugar spike and then drop. No good for consistency. No good for controlling myself, applying the same amount of energy to each shot because my energy levels were spiking and dropping. So if you're serious about trying to control your concentration levels over 18 holes, you need to be thinking what you're doing prior to those 18 holes. Are you going for a night out or not? Are you ever drinking alcohol the night before or not? Are you having a proper breakfast before you go out and play or not? All these things might affect your ability and level of concentration through the period of, like I say, three, four, five hours of basic exercise, walking, swinging, moving up and down hills and concentration. And then during the round, making sure you're having good weapons to stay hydrated, making sure you've always got water, making sure you've always got um, snacks that aren't gonna spike your emotions too much through the game and keep you levels of energy up while at the same time keeping your ability to concentrate relatively consistent throughout the day. And then the last thing really for golfers, and this is a skill and it takes practice, is learning to deal with emotions. Because at the end of the day, when you're playing elves of golf, you're gonna have generally a roller coaster of, em uh, of emotions from anger to joy to frustration to good fortune, to bad fortune, and being able to try and keep your levels relatively focused and consistent while they move around and are gonna jump up and down is a skill. And it's one you should be practicing. You should be learning from chances out on the golf course that you've let slip because of emotion. So another good thing you can do to try and keep track of that is where you might mark your score on a, on a scorecard. That's marking your ultimate performance that people are gonna mark you by. You could be measuring your own performance. Now this is something from Scott Fawcett in Decade. If you don't follow Decade, go and check it out. It's a great system, but he has things like a mental score. So what you're expected to make on a hole and then you compare it to what you did make on that hole. And if you're over expectations, was it a drop shot? Was it an emotionally bad decision? If you mark these down as you go, you'll learn. Oh look, in that round I had three pretty emotionally charged decisions. And look, my drop shots are happening at that time. That will give you a chance maybe to focus more on where the problems are. We tend to write score down and look at double bogeys, triple bogeys, quads, those kinds of things, look at those. But we don't often scratch below the surface to see why they're coming out. If it is emotional based stuff or concentration level stuff, pretty much the same thing I would say, um, then that's something you need to be practicing. You ain't gonna know to practice that unless you're starting to write it down and take note of it. Concentrating for 18 holes is tough. It takes practice, hopefully some of those ideas help you next time you're playing. If they don't, let me know what helps you. If you're someone who's great at concentrating for 18 hours, let me know what your little tricks are.